This is a continuation of the notes uh, titled Percent Growth or Decrease in 1.7. The previous video cut off uh, right here where we were talking about how much money I was going to hand over to my sister um, on the very first week, which was $91 dollars and 60 cents, which left me with $366 and 40 cents. I'm going to use that same process here. I start on week two with $366 and 40 cents. And then I'm going to hand my sister 20% of that. So that's that minus 0.2 times 366.4. So I simplify the 0.2 times 366 and 40 cents. And I'm left with, I am give my sister $73.28, leaving me left with $293.12. So now I'm going to continue that process and I'm going to say, okay, sister, I start with $293.12 on week three, and I'm going to hand you 20% of that. So I have 293 minus 12. And I'm going to hand my sister $58.62 and a little bit more this week, which leaves me with $234.49 and a little bit more cents. Um, I could continue this process, but I'm actually not going to. Um, you can continue it until you can see the pattern, but I think at this point we're going to move straight to seeing to see if we can find that pattern. Um, because I'm multiplying by something each time, I'm going to guess that I'm, I'm having a geometric sequence. So I'm going to set the equation 458 times a common ratio equals 366.4. So to go from my week 0 to my week 1. I divide both sides by 458, and I find that R equals 0 0.8. And I can test that and say, well, I wonder, does 366.4, what does that equal times 0.8? And lo and behold, it equals 293.12. So my R is the correct value. So now I can write my recursive. Week zero, I have $458. Each week, I hand off 80% of what's left, sorry, 20% to my sister, which is multiplying by 0.8. My explicit, therefore, is what I started with times 0.8 to the x power. Now, I'd like to go back and just sort of um, make an observation here. And that observation is that a 5% growth gave us 1.05 for my r and a 20% decrease gave us an R of 0 0.8. Um, just to, to notice here that this is 1 plus 0 0.05, and this is 1 minus 0.2 which may be helpful in future problems when trying to simplify these percentages.